My Google Classroom. Video number seven, how to create assignments in Google Classroom. Assignments can be created and assigned to students from inside Google Classroom. And there are a number of useful options here for educators. Here's what you need to know. Create an assignment in Google Classroom. Part one, open the class you want to add an assignment to. Click the Classroom tab at the top of the page. Click the Create button and choose to add an assignment. Give your assignment a title and add any additional instructions or descriptions in the box below. Click the date to choose a due date for your assignment and add a time if you want to specify when it's due on a given day. Choose the type of assignment you wish to create by clicking on one of the icons next to the word Assign. Your choices are to upload a file from your computer, attach a file from Google Drive, add a YouTube video, or add a link to a website. Click Assign to give this assignment to your students. Create an assignment in Google Classroom Part 2. Many teachers who use Google Classroom will likely elect to add an assignment from their drive because this is likely where a lot of teachers' resources are now stored. Following are the options you get when you select a file from Drive. Number one, students can view the file. Select this option if you want all students to be able to view the file, but not be able to modify it any way. This is ideal for student guides and generic handouts that the whole class needs access to. Number two, students can edit file. Choose this if you want all students to be able to edit and work on the same document. This would be ideal for a collaborative class project where students may be working on separate sides of the same Google presentation. Number three, make a copy for each student. If you pick this option, Classroom will make a copy of the original file for each student in your class and give them editing rights to that file. The teacher's master remains intact and the students have no access to the original file. Organize assignments by topic. To create topics, follow the instructions below. Navigate to your class. Click the Classroom tab. Click the Create button. Choose the topic. Name your topic and click Add. If you have assignments already created that need moved to a topic, follow these steps. Click on the Classroom tab. Hover over the assignment you want to move with your mouse. Click the three dots. Choose Edit. Look for the drop-down box next to the topic. Click the drop-down and choose the topic you want to move it to. How students complete and submit assignments. Students can view active assignments when they log into Google Classroom by clicking on a specific class they are part of and reviewing the upcoming assignments. Clicking on one of these assignments will open the relevant file for the student. If it is a Google Drive file, an additional button is added to the toolbar in the top right-hand corner next to the Share button. This button is marked Turn It In. Clicking it submits their assignment to the teacher. Grading and returning assignments to students. If you find that assignments are getting buried among student conversations, looking at the toolbar on the top left of the stream view and you should see the upcoming assignments box. Click on the assignments you want to grade and follow the directions below. Click on the name of the student who has submitted an assignment you want to grade. When the document opens, use the commenting feature in the drive to leave detailed feedback on specific parts of the student's submission. Choose the document when you are done. All changes are saved automatically. When you return to Classroom, click to the right of the student's name where it says No Grade and enter a point-based grade for the assignment. Check the box next to the student you just graded. Then click the blue Return button to save the grade and notify the student that their paper has been graded. Add any additional feedback in the pop-up box, then click Return Assignment. Grading Tips and Further Information When you return an assignment to a student, they will automatically receive an email notification informing them of your actions. You can change a grade at any time by clicking on the grade and then clicking Update. Clicking the Folder button will open the Google Drive folder where all student submissions are stored. When the teacher returns an assignment to a student, the teacher no longer has editing rights on that document. 
You can return an assignment to a student without grading it by simply checking the box next to the student's name and clicking return. This could be useful for assignments submitted in error. Are you ready to dig deeper into Google Classroom? If so, follow these step-by-step -step directions and screenshots to make them easy to follow and apply. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.